Hi guys, uh, here we are again. Um, I'm going to um, fit the servos and the air ones um, connections into the uh, the wing. Um, so here we are. I've got. I've actually cut out cut out the the bits for the uh, for the air on um, for, for the, for the mm -hmm. servo trays, and here I've cut out a little bit so I can fit. And I've just fed it through with a with a bit of wire. So I'm going to glue these trays in place, and then I'll connect up the uh, the air on. I've um, I've connected. Um, I've uh, bound the um, uh, the transmitter to a, to a receiver so I can make sure that I can get everything central um, so that once I push the, the servos in and, and fix them in place then I don't have to take them out again because everything's set. Okay. Uh, Run a bead of glue around and then slide in the tray. The other one tray's just got a little lip on there, so that when I drop it in, it's just going to glue itself to the to the wing. Okay, making sure that I've got the servo tray and the servos the right way round to match the position of the uh, the arm uh, on the server uh, on the aileron. Okay, now I I generally cheat a little. Um, I use my Z bender. I make a, a Z bend, and then Most of the time I can do this, sometimes I don't. Uh, I line up my air one and then mark the position the, um, the servo, uh, the arm on the servo and mark where the Z-Bend wants to go on the second one. Now this is fairly crucial And if it works, it's good, and if it doesn't, well, it's not good. Uh, you have to put a, some sort of a connector in there that's, uh, that's adjustable. I, uh, I've sort of got fairly used to doing this, but we'll see how this one turns out. And um, okay, so I'm going to bend this one now, and that wants to go... for the best I want them both going the same way <coughs> now you can only do this if you can either have to be able to remove the servo or the arm and the air on to be able to do this because you have to be able to twist the uh, the connection in so with the so if I just put that in there and then I connect that into there Clifton 
Just talking to you. Just, 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 okay, I'll just like. Okay, now that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll see if we can get the other one as good. Hopefully. What I'm doing, I'm setting the, the aileron level there and I'm just marking the hole and now I'll see if I can bend that and get that in, in the right spot. Got a mark on there and now I want that to go the same. I want that to go the same way again. There we go, that's pretty good. They're both pretty well lined up there. So we have left, right, left, right. And I have dual rates on this. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the aileron's done. So I, all I need to do now is put the cover on each one of these, this little cover that just sits like that. And a couple of screws. And, uh, and that's the aileron's done.